Okay, what are well, we going to do? Thing okay, number two. Thing number two. All right. Okay, okay Kyle, this is all you. This is not me. Are you me. playing the thing for two? No, is there a little thing? No, mm -hmm. it's for three. Isn't it? And just to put up number two. Because oh, okay. we've done thing number one. We think we're funny. If mm -hmm. you got, if y'all yeah. don't think we're funny, That's sorry. Oh, we think we're hilarious. We think we're funny. We crack ourselves. <laughs> we sit next to each other. We crack ourselves up all day long. There's Not like good. these little cubicles mm -hmm. in between. That you're supposed to put um, those bin things in. Mm -hmm. No, we so leave ours open it. so that no, we can. Like, oh, look, look at this! Yeah. Look at this! <laughs> There's constantly a phone being slid. <laughs> oh, We're working really hard. I hope Chris is not watching. <laughs> Me too. Mike, really. <laughs> yeah, because we are working hard. <laughs> really hard. Yes. Really hard. Okay, so this year, well, for the past three years, <laughs> I have been asked to be a judge. It's Chris's fault at our county fair. Yay! Yay! Cash Yay! County Fair. Yeah, so <laughs> I think it's really funny that I'm judging I know about I quilting a little bit. I don't think it's funny. I think it's perfectly appropriate. Until three years after I was working at the shop, I would say, I'm not really a quilter. I'm not really a quilter. But after you've worked there for a while, people don't appreciate you saying that you're not a quilter. <laughs> so you got to stop saying that. Okay. So when we were judging the fair, there were two other ladies with me and had different ones over the years. But um, I got thinking... Maybe we should talk about how to get a quilt ready for the fair. I mean, or for anything, for anything. That matter. We I had mean, if you're displaying your quilt. Yes, take some pride in it. And we had a girl that was going to be on here with us, but she didn't feel good today. So we're like, okay, we'll kick, we'll punt, whatever it is. Um, <laughs> we'll so, kick too. <laughs> so we went online and we looked up um, how to get a. A quilt ready for the fair. We didn't do anything. Kyle did all the work. <laughs> Whatever. Because, you know, that's what happens when you have kids. I just won the ribbons. <laughs> you, well, that's pretty darn good. <laughs> pretty darn good. So um, when we were judging the, the fair, we noticed one thing that really, really bothered us. And I don't think you should enter a quilt if you've already washed it and used it. No, I don't but think so either. This doesn't say anything. It just says it needs to be a clean quilt. But I don't think you should enter it if it's been used and washed. But yeah, ha have any of you ladies entered quilt in the fair? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we'd love to hear if you have entered. Um, you After I turn my quilts in the garden of quilts. Well. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Betty Jo. <laughs> I'm sure they're perfect. I'm sure. I'm sure and they're perfect. You know what? And, and the, the website that I went to, where they said, you know what? Just enjoy it. Enjoy the experience. But if you are entering a quilt, which I will never do, I don't want someone judging me. Because <laughs> when I hold up a quilt, I'm moving it all over so you can't yeah, see too. my points. Yeah. Look, Judy, she got a blue ribbon. Oh, nice. She's my hero. Nice. Okay. Um, so never. don't. So the first thing is... It's frowned upon if you use your quilt and love it and your cat loves it mm -hmm. too. Oh, do not have fur on it. Because if I'm touching it lint. and you have no idea who is touching it and if they're allergic, then got best of show. Nice. Nice. So the first thing they said is, um, well, here's my thing on it. If I'm entering a quilt in the fair. Mm hmm I'm going to be really conscientious. Right. It's just not going to go on a bed and slap it on. I'm going to do my best work. I know you should do that all the time, but I'm not going to do that all the time. So these ladies, um, Laurel, Elaine, Barb, um, when you enter a quilt in the fair, do you just do a really great job and you know it's fair worthy or do you start the quilt knowing you're going to enter it in the fair this lady said that she takes about three years to get a quilt ready but she's doing the Paducah one and I can't remember what other one like Houston and stuff like that I mean those quilts are amazing yeah. and we don't always have to do the absolutely amazing ones right. we're just going to be proud of what we've done and share it and that she also said um, 
I don't let this discourage me entering my best work in the local and nearby quilt shows. I assure you, other quilters will love to see your work. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I love seeing all the different quilts. There were so many different ones, or it shouldn't be yeah, reek no of cigarettes. Yeah, no cigarettes. Yeah, no. I mean, you want it clean, and so no one's going... Well, I don't really want to touch And iron, that. too. Do you see? Press, yep. I see this more at the fair. And those of you that haven't been to a fair, um, you have to know that people judge your work all day long. But I just kind of hate it when I go, and not necessarily on so much on quilts, but on embroidered pillowcases and towels. Mm -hmm. And they're all wrinkly. Like, they just pull them out of the, the, out drawer. Of the drawer. And yeah. so, you know. You're showing your best work is right. what I Steam look it. at it. That's why I'm not entering mine because oh. um, I think that they're going to they're gonna pick it apart. So if you get a red ribbon, we wrote on it. I, we didn't, I had a hard time giving out red ribbons, but because um, I know that takes a lot of time mm -hmm. and a lot of money, no matter how good a job. But if you're going to enter it, don't enter it all wrinkled and dirty. So that, that was our big thing. Just the visual, and that's her number one thing. The visual impact, if, if they bring it to you, because they bring it to the judges, we're not touching them. They bring them to the judges, and if it looks dirty, has hair on it, that's an automatic, nope, Ew. nope, not going to win, no matter how wonderful your quilting is, because it that's part of it. Right. That's part of judging a quilt. It's not a quilt that's going to just go on your bed. You are you send it there to be judged. Mm -hmm. Look, Elaine, she entered her quilt because it turned out good. good. See, after, after reading this, I think I'd have to start a fair quilt. Not. Yeah. Yeah, this lady talks about how she starts it with, a show in mind. Oh, look. Oh, my husband made me a blue ribbon oh, and a cute. certificate when I called and told him I didn't win first place. Oh, my gosh. Here's the thing. Only one person can get first place. Right. Right. If you have um, the courage, the fortitude, whatever you want to call it, to enter it, good for you. Yes. Good for you. And that's one thing I learned here, too, is that... Presentation, is, presentation, presentation. Yes. And the other thing that I really love, too, is how do you get a quilt ready? I mean, okay. so this is perfect that we're doing this because mm -hmm. lots of times I, I go to the fair and I look and I'm like, you know what? I have one that looks a little bit better than that. Mm -hmm. um, uh-huh. And I, I didn't know all the rules, so this yeah, is perfect. I didn't know the rules either, and I'm a judge, but I know what to look for. And one of our one of our things that we looked for was, how does it look? Does it look like the fabrics all go together? It has to be visually pleasing, because if you're doing some whacked out stuff, it's not visually pleasing. Right. So that was her number one, is visual impact. Just think about your choice of fabrics. Betty, Betty Jo's so worried about garden of quilts. Oh, Betty Jo, they wouldn't ask you to be there if you didn't have no. fantastic quilts. No. <laughs> yes. And not every quilt has to be this big grand right. thing. Right, right. You can enter a baby quilt. We had baby quilts. We had king size quilts. We had all different kinds. We're just going to give you some pointers. We're not saying that's the absolute truth and don't enter it if you don't do this. But we're going to give you some ideas of what to be conscientious of. Perfect. Okay, second one is piecing. That was a big one. If um, if you have quarter inch seams, and a lot of times, and she talks How about- How could they tell? Well, you learn where your quarter inch seam, oh, the judges, you mean? Yeah. Oh, well, if the seam goes like that all the oh, okay, way, okay. or okay. you can tell if you pulled it. I'm like, are you guys unpicking and then no. picking that binding no. looking? No, <laughs> no, we don't. We didn't look at them that long. Okay. You can see a lot of stuff as mm -hmm. it's passing by. But this lady talks about shadowing. And I didn't know what she was talking about. Shadowing. I didn't either. And that was really interesting to me because I am one of those that I am not the most perfect ironer. <laughs> you are a perfect ironer. No. No, <laughs> someone make you say that. <laughs> uh -uh. I was going to be shocked. <laughs> I mean, I didn't Jenny, leave that Jenny, the difference. back of her quilts looks just like the front. She is a perfect ironer. Barb, perfect mm -hmm. ironer. Me? Have you ever seen Jackie's? No. Or Cindy? Oh, yeah, no. I don't show mine. This okay. is how I show my quilts that I finished. Yeah, me too. Yeah, no. Well, I'm galloping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Waving it like this off of a horse. Yeah, so... The way you press your seams, 
makes a big difference in your quilt. Lots of times, the what is shadowing? Okay, shadowing is, this occurs when you have darker color fabric that shows through your lighter fabric. You know, lots of times they'll tell you to, to press to the dark side. Sometimes it's not, you can't do that. So you have to make sure your underneath fabric that is darker than your light, that that's not showing over. So you might have to trim that up just a little bit so it's behind your white. Yeah, I, I also learned a thing. I was working on a, oh, can I say a fig tree quilt? Yeah. On, online. I was working on it just last night. And they said that if you are working with a white and you have a really dark, mm -hmm. um, like if you're doing half square triangles right. or flying geese, that you should only trim the dark. dark and that that white underneath will give it a second layer oh. so that you don't get that shadowing effect. Okay. And that was interesting to me. I learned that. Yeah. So, so lots of times when you get a pattern or book or something, read the instructions. They've got some great tips yeah. for you. Um, let's see. Be sure you're. Oh, OK. And if you plan to show your quilt, be sure to decrease your stitch length and trim the darker side so it won't show through your top. Okay, shadowing. That's a big thing. I mean, we didn't look at that in, in the county fair. Right, but you're sending the winner to the state fair. Yes, the winner goes to the state fair. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know who it was because I had to leave and come back to work. It was beautiful. Beautiful. She had pieces that were like quarter inch wide. Wow. It was beautiful. I loved it. Wow. I loved it. So that's something to think about. And even just to have for your your own knowledge to, to know that. Um your workmanship, your quarter inch seams, yep. Mm -hmm. your points. Because a lot of times your seam allowance will show through the top of your quilt. Your intersections. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, are they perfect? Mm -hmm. Yes, mine are not. That's why we, that's why I don't enter the fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, not perfectly fine not entering to the fair. But if you are interested in uh, entering to the fair, because we know our state fair is coming up. Mm -hmm. Garden of Quilts is coming up, right. <laughs> like Betty Jo said. Um, that's true. Okay, the next one, um, mm, applique. Oh, we had some applique man. come in. Applique oh. is tricky. I learned a lot from working here at the shop. I mean, everybody's willing to give you a little bit of advice and stuff. It's still tricky. Yes. To do, I like to do a blanket stitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you hand or, or machine? I used to hand. No. Uh, do you, um, did you see any hand appliques come through? Not much. They would win just because they yeah. attempted oh, that. I don't somebody, care what they Somebody like. quilted their quilt by hand more. Like, oh, wow. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, so on applique, learn the tips and the tricks with your machine and also just how to do it. They would tell me when I did the blanket stitch, they say, okay, when you're uh, applicating a circle, you're going around and you're moving just a little bit. That's why I like the, our, my machine that has the presser mm -hmm. foot that jumps up. Wonderful. Because then I'm not getting a, a jerk. Yeah. And also they said, make believe mm -hmm. your center bite out goes in towards the middle. Like you've got a dot in the middle. It was really interesting. But I'm still, sometimes I still get that back stitch all over the place. Oh, yeah. 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 Talk me out of it. <laughs> no, no, Betty Jo. <laughs> no. Betty Jo, you just said you want a blue ribbon. I'm not, I'm not. These are just suggestions from a. Suggestions. From, not everybody's going to do it perfectly. And you can't do all of them. If you want to improve your quilts. This is everyday things yes. for your quilts also. Yep. But that um when you go to the big the big ones the girl that was going to be on was melissa mason and i know she's entered in some big ones and she's won so that's oh, why i wanted her so to come we'll have to invite her back yeah we will she just wasn't feeling good today and we don't but, want to not feel good uh, these are all tips that will help us improve our quilting right. also our, right our, uh, just things. our quilting yes okay so applique so here's what it, it talked about these are the things to watch for well secured edges. <laughs> they don't want that that quarter inch, nope. you know, just flinging up. No, nope. no, nope. we don't want that to be over here and over there, and it's not even on the edge. Um, smooth curves. That's a big one, and that took me a long time to figure out how to do that. So yes. just practice. That's all this is: is right. practice. Sharp points. <laughs> okay, when I go around a corner, 
and I'm doing a blanket stitch and it comes in. Sometimes I forget where I'm at and I'll go out here and then go down. They're watching for that in the big ones. Didn't bother us because we understood <laughs> when we were judging. Matching thread. Wow. Mm. That's hard for me because when you are doing intricate applique, mm -hmm. the thought of changing that thread every 10 stitches. Uh -huh. But it makes a difference. If yes. you are going to those big quilt shows, yep. I do not change it a lot. When I have green, I do green. When I have red, I do red. But um, yeah, I'm not matching it perfectly. And also sometimes I'll just do black. And Cindy taught me on, um, on something like that. When you color, the outline is in the coloring book. It's always black. Oh, hey. So it looks more like a coloring oh, perfect. book. Perfect. Or you want it to blend in. So that's what I think about when I'm trying to decide. Have you, have you ever used monofilament thread while no. applique? Mm -mm. Does it fray? No, it's wonderful. Oh, really? Have any of you ever used monofilament mm. thread while applique? Um, of course, you can't do it on things you're going to use a lot or heat or oh, iron. Yeah. But no. it's invisible. Yeah, no. Yeah. Barb likes to um, bind with uh, visible thread. Okay. Matching thread. No shadowing. Back with a lighter color if needed. So if you're applicating onto one another, think about the color coming through the top the one on top. So check that out. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, monofilament. monofilament. It's invisible. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Why do you have to use the big words? <laughs> I'm going to, I'll go get my quilt. No. Oh, oh really? yeah, I have one. Oh, nice. Filament. I like to change my colors and match for applique. Okay. What was that? Contrasting threads. Yes. Yes, contrasting threads. If I'm going to go to a lot of work, sometimes I want them to show. So that was that was on applique. For now, for piecing, these are some of the details that judges will look for. He's just trying to be audacious. <laughs> oh, another big word, whatever. Um, <laughs> to match my applique. Okay, for piecing, do the intersections meet perfectly? No, not always. Sharp points, yes. So you want to turn things out. Does the seam thread match the piecing? You know, you think it doesn't show, but sometimes it does show. Oh. So I think it's just that with monofilament thread. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know on your how flower? close you, I can get. On the flower? Yeah, on the flower. The yep. outside edge of the flower? Yes. Yeah. You can't even tell. Why did you do that? Because I didn't want to change my thread and fill it. <laughs> That's stitched. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Nice. Yeah, that way it doesn't take away from your flower edges. Right. But nice job. Well, it's not fair worthy. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. The third thing on piecing a quilt, does the seam thread match the piecing? Sometimes your thread will show. Um, stitch size, are all the stitches small enough? And no shadowing. Yeah. Basically, they don't want to see. It's all things that you are thinking about as you're right. putting your quilt together anyway. All those things you're thinking, should I unpick this or not? Mm, sometimes. Yes. I have to tell you about a hippo that I did, a cute, cute, oh. <laughs> a cute, a cute piece hippopotamus. Uh -huh. I had a block that was wrong and I didn't notice it till it was all quilted and everything. Mm. I went, hmm, I like it. I'm Amish because they never have one that's perfect because I am too. Nobody is perfect. So I am too. That's why, how I do it. <laughs> Please hold the quilt up. Oh, we've, we've shot before. This is darling. That's a lot of work. Well, you know, it's how, not how long did that take you? Two, two and a half weeks. Get yeah. out. Jenny was the taskmaster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's really you cute. I like the, the strawberry fair. too. Yeah. That's darling. What? What's it I called? You could enter that one in the fair. Yeah, you should have. No, I can't. Look at my, it just, Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace. And we Grace. sell the quilt kits for this. Oh, we so do? if anybody wants to oh, do nice. this amazing Nice. Grace. It is beautiful. Um, okay, so my papers are all different ways now. I don't know where I'm at. Okay. So Here. now I'm on three is a workmanship. Oh, yep. oh, binding. Oh, no. This was a really, really big one for us. This, this put a couple of them down into red because of the bindings. Tell me about binding. Do you love it? I love to bind. Do you? 
for three reasons. And if you read my blog, I it's funny you asked me that because really? I loved a wine because number one, uh-huh. it's like the last finishing effort mm-hmm. of a, of your masterpiece. I right. mean, you know, you do that. Number two, the reason I blind, I loved a blind bind <laughs> blind bind is because um, it's instant gratification. Yeah. You can hold it up and, and you can see your quote oh, yeah. finishing. The Do you th- bind them by hand? Uh-huh. All of them? All of them. Okay. The third one, you can binge Netflix, Netflix legally <laughs> yes, can. for hours when you bind. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and nobody bugs you. No excuses. So it's like needed. if you're doing hand work. Yeah. They're, you know, yeah. they don't see you. You're not wasting any time at all. Oh, there's Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Oh, Hi. Annette loves to bind too. Oh, good, Annette. Okay. Yep. So I'm coming to plug tonight. Oh, How okay. Do you, you want to do that right it? now? It's like 200 and something. Um, it is 200 and something, Debbie. It's so on our website, but website. it's, yeah, it's but, beautiful. but it, there's so much fabric. Actually, it's on comment sold still. Oh, oh okay. comment sold. Okay. Um, Jenny, do you like to bind? I do. Good. Do you bind by hand? Both. I do both. Okay. What determines that you would bind it? Come over into the camera. The amount of time I have. <laughs> if I need it immediately, I machine bind it. Yes. If I want to enjoy it, uh-huh. I can bind. Oh, that's pretty. So we got Amanda coming tonight. Oh, Niederhauser? Yeah, and we've kitted this. Not in these colors because this is last year. But... Oh, look at the oh, cute different Christmas Oh, my dresses. gosh. Look how Kitties. cute. That's, really That's so funny. cute. Comment sold tonight, ladies. And special <laughs> guest, Amanda. Is and it, she's so fun. Is this a kit? Not these fabrics, but yes. Yes, but you'll have a kit for I'm it. I'm doing it in um that Holly Holiday, you know, the Santas. Oh, and the oh. pink and greens. And oh, oh be darling. Darling. Yeah. Darling ones. Okay, got another one? This is the Halloween version, but we don't have this kitted. Oh, we don't have this. Oh, oh. I like this one. A lot. Black top. Oh, I'm oh. obsessed with the kitties. She loves, she loves kitties. kitties. I know that she had a kitty shirt on Mufasa. today. It's Mufasa, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got another one? I do. I have a Halloween one that I kitted, but I must have left it downstairs. Oh, uh, no. Oh, so watch man. for that. So comment sold tonight? 6.30. 6.30. Who's going to be doing it, Jenny? Me and Debbie and Amanda. <gasps> nice. 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 All right. Well, that was cute. Yes. Okay. So binding. What are the rules, sister? One of the things that we noticed when we got the bindings is that you entered it in a fair. You hand bind it. Do okay. not put it on the machine. And a lot of them, they would do it to the front and then um, sew it on the back of it. So you have no idea where your stitching is going. So it, those stitches would show through. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. So here's her big thing. She called it binding and edge treatments. One of the things quilt show judges look for is binding filled the edge, the quilt edge. So we would get bindings and so it's fat. Yep. Yep. So here's your binding and then here's your quilt. If you only bring it in a little way, so let me see if I can make it so you see that. If you only bring it in not all the way, so because there's all the way, if you only bring it in part way, your binding's going to be flat. Yeah. Uh, no, you need to fill your whole binding with your quilt. Okay. Oh, look, Betty's one step ahead of us. Miter your corners. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's it. Says that means binding fills stuffed, not flat. Yes. We had some that were wide bindings, and we we're just like, what? Mm, I don't like that look. Yeah. But that was the look they were going for, I guess. Okay. Um, corners should be ninety degree angles, and stitch shut with small. Invisible stitches. Cindy talks about that. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. Um, thread should match the binding. So, oh, you found it? Okay. Oh, cute. cute. Oh, oh my gosh. Darling. Comments all tonight. Fun, fun, this. fun. We have that. Oh, <laughs> thread. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, is Barb Lewis on? Hi, everyone. Love you all. Hi, Barb. Barb, can you put up your video so we can play it? That's what we want One to do One more today. time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, edges should not buckle or wave. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Measure your, your uh, sides. Edges should hang straight. Sometimes they're wavy. Okay. No. Mm-hmm. Oh, somebody loved to share a video yesterday. Yeah, I know. Um, Ed, edge treatments such as scallops, edges, Cordy, 
are all that they're all done well. If you're going to attempt something like that, then practice a little bit. Practice. And no quilt will be perfect ever. No, no. And most of this is what I tell the kids in my class. You're doing this for fun, enjoyment. Right. You can step it up just a little bit, but it's for enjoyment. You want to enjoy it. Yeah. Yes. Yep. That is the biggest thing is that, you know what, we don't, well, some of us do this for a job, but it's because we love it. But yeah. I mean, you know, it, it really is a hobby and it really is something we do because we love it mm -hmm. because no one would pay this much for a hobby if they didn't love it. Yep. Oh, yep. Um, also, your quilting. Okay. Yes. You can you can get your stitches really small and then they go larger. I have to really work on that. So how do they feel when you don't quilt your own quilts? I don't think it mattered. Okay. It didn't matter to us at all. Um, you didn't get extra points if you did it yourself. Okay. Just went, way to go. Way to go. But I don't know about the national ones. They don't talk about that. One thing, one thing I have learned over the years about machine quilting when you take it to a long armor mm -hmm. is... Oh, they have rules. They do have rules. And I think we've the covered those. Armor. But be specific in what you want. I mean, you know, they're quilting this quilt for you. And mm -hmm. when you go in and say, do it cute, I mean, what you might have envisioned in your in your head mm -hmm. may not be cute. I mean, if you're doing Halloween and you want cobwebs and pumpkins and or research online or ask them to show you samples. Also, because they help, will do that. That helps the quilter right. to know what you want. If you want um, a tight quilt or if you want... now. Keep you're going to pay for you're it. Pay for it. Mm -hmm. Yes. But because mm -hmm. it is a, um, it's an art. An really. art. That's yes. what I was going to say. I mean, it's it is a an skill. art. Yes. Yeah. They've taken a long time to perfect it. Right. Um, okay. So that be aware if you're quilting your own quilt, try and make sure you're getting your stitches even and you're quilting. Like if you did a round like this, this barn, mm -hmm. If you're going around the barn, you don't want part of that outline of your barn. They can't see it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it. Like they're quilting around here. You want all that to be about the same spacing. I don't want really tight here and then big there. I, wa I want it to look pleasing because the quilting does show up a little bit. Okay. Here's the back. The other thing. Do you want to show your back? Sure. Okay. It says Qu quilt back matters to judges. They do. We were really impressed. Oh, that's darning fabric. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. Yeah. And the thread looks good on your back because you can have a different color on the back of your yep. quilt and the top because yep. your quilter should know how to make them um, catch inside the quilt. Uh, look the last part of the piecing it together you know um i read also we could do a class uh, a three at three on joining the ends right and also like i don't know if you ever if you do follow amanda niederhauser who's going to be with us tonight but she has a mod kitty quilt oh panel, i love that i love that and she sent an extra one because how cute would this be if you're doing one of her mod kitties to put one of the cats on your backing. Oh, I just love Just in that. the corner, in the middle. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, so so mm -hmm. don't be afraid to be a little creative with your backing as well. Good. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool. If I have extra blocks or something, because sometimes you end up with extras, I'll put them in a row in the back. How fun. But this is what they said about the backings. The seam lines on the back should be straight and square. I am guilty of not worrying so much about it. Me too. Adding an amazing tag or some sort of standout feature to the back of your quilt. The judges will notice. Yes. That's true. If you're going to enter in a fair, I would say have a, what's that you word? have a, what is it? <laughs> what is it called? Label. Oh, yes. Have a, a quilt, quilt label. label. Definitely have a quilt label on it. Yeah. And see, when we're judging, we're not supposed to know whose quilt it is, but mm -hmm. some had quilt labels on it. So you're like, oh, well, okay, I won't look. Yeah. But you did. I love making my tags. I'm really bad about it. Yeah, I, really don't, I don't. I'm really bad about it too. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I used to toll paint and I would always sign my name because I was told you always sign your name. But my quilt, I don't. I don't. Carol, okay. I'm with you. I don't ever go any bigger than two or two and a quarter on my uh, binding. Oh, I yeah. I mean, you know, then it just makes. Oh, I call it, two and a half. Do you go two quilt. and a half? Smaller ones, table runners, I'll do 
two and a quarter. Yep. Yeah. Label. Mm, yeah. Okay. Quilt shawl readiness. Let's see what it says. I know this sounds like I'm starting stating the obvious, but the quilt should be clean and free of lint and pet hairs. So take a roller and go over yeah. your quilt. Front, back, edges everywhere. Just make sure. Use a sticky roller several times across the entire quilt before sending it to be judged. The quilt should also hang well. If you attach a border incorrectly, oh, I'm a long armor, and sometimes we end up with the wavy borders. If you don't know how to put a border on, there's a certain way of how to measure it. We could do a three at three at that, too, because I think yep. that's a good one. Yeah. Um, or there's a, you, I know we've done one before YouTube about how to square up a quilt. Yep. Those are so. all very important. And, and it makes a big difference on your quilts. Yeah. The ways, one way judges look at how well a quilt hangs is by pulling the bottom up to the top. If these don't match, some of mine don't match at all. Yeah. Some of mine don't either. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that's when you, when you give them, you roll them. <laughs> <laughs> Chris says it's just because you're protecting your quilt. No, oh. mine's, mine's protecting my square. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you've gone to all this work of piecing a quilt. You want to make sure it's it's squared. Because if you send it to the quilter, ooh, that's hard. Okay. I Connie, we'll have, to, we'll have to check on the Mod Meow. Um, not quite sure. Or Amanda's here tonight. Yeah. Maybe she'll address it. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Um, I don't label my quilts. Yes, we sh we really should right. because if you're giving that quilt as a gift, you think about the ones you got from your grandma or your great grandma, or that you don't know who you got it. Yeah, but you figure it's important mm -hmm. and date it. Right. Yeah, right. all those things are important. I hope this helps a little bit. We don't mean to tell you that don't enter it unless it's perfect. No, no, no. We're no, not no. saying that at all. And if you think that, go to your local fair. <laughs> Yeah, we just want yeah. you to win. We are all striving for this. Red. I love red. I love red too. Yeah. I love red. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. What about squaring up the quilt? Ooh. We'll have to see. It, I, I know it's on YouTube. Is it on so YouTube? So if you go on YouTube and, and my look for squaring up the quilt, my girlfriends. And if and we definitely can highlight it. Um we have a new website page coming where we really? can highlight videos. Um, wow, that's they awesome. They told us that when I first started. But, but you yeah. know. What is happening today? What do you mean? <laughs> What's happening? We're talking about the fair. Oh, oh okay. Is that what she's asking? I yes, we were talking about um, getting a quilt ready to enter into a fair. Or to exhibit it. or Yeah, or just to make it up your game a little bit. Yep. Does the label always go on the quilt? This is what I don't know. It was it was a timely three at three. <laughs> oh, oh, that's why oh, we did this you. is because we know that fairs are coming. Yes. And just to help you think about it and just up it. Um, you Jill, put a label I on. I put the label on after it's quilted only because, and I. How do you get it on there? Oh, I hand stitch it on. Okay. Just because I don't want it. I. I don't want them quilting over it or disrupting mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. and, and I don't want it to show on the other side. So I always just take it um, when I get it back, iron my edges in. Fold them in. So. Um, yep. Glue it on and hand stitch it just like That's I do my idea. binding. That's a good idea. Do you put just it into stitch. your bindings? Or no, I, where I do just you put, put it, it on? I just put it like on the corner of a quilt like right here. Okay. I've seen people where they put it into their binding. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, because like then you're only, I'm like you are like a genius. So then you're, you're binding anyway. Two. Yes. two edges. Yes. <laughs> okay. Anybody have any others? Let's see. Name of the piece, place the design came from. The place the design came from. Which design? I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's stitch mine also. Let's see. Hand stitch mine too. Yeah. Yeah. I hope this helps anybody. Don't feel bad if yours is uh, not perfect. I don't know many people that do. The reason I put, oh, I put mine is, where am I? Before quilting is because all of the quilts have been stolen. Ooh. <gasps> what? <gasps> all the quilts have. Because of all the quilts that have been stolen. Wow. Oh, man. They oh. they really try and keep track of the quilts. I mean, yeah. that's, that's a lot of time and money putting into those quilts. 
this heat and bond on my labels, and I put them usually in the lower left corner. I appreciate the positive comments as well as things that judges think I should work on. Yes, and we do. Yes. We do. They asked us when we were judging. Yes, write a comment, but always right. you can tell them what they need to improve on, but always point something good out. And there is always something to good pointing out. We did not have one quilt where they missed the seam. Good. We've had that before. Good. Nobody missed the seam. There was no hole in it. Oh, we were that's great. very impressed. All right, Kyle. We thought we were going to be short. Oh, I thought we, we 